guys and welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, this is, if you've been around for a while, you may remember this. I did a video like three years ago, at least, maybe more, of um, different friction hacks and tips. And it has, for whatever reason, been one of the highest viewed videos on my channel every month since. But the thing is, it's not very great because like three or four years ago, I wasn't very good at this and the audio levels hurt my ears. So we're going to remake that today. Um, and I also have today to show you, I got some new friction fine liners. Today we're going to talk all about friction pens, um, some hacks and tips and things that make them um, even more useful for you. So let's just jump right in. The very first thing that I think friction pens are fantastic for in planning, besides just being able to, you know, erase your uh, changes of plans, is making reusable spreads. Being able to take the same page in your bullet journal and keep it constantly updated with new information that's always changing, but without having to cross things out and make it look messy over time, is one of the wonderful benefits of using friction ink. So I've used it for like a last time done spread where you need to know like when was the last time I changed my oil, and then whenever you change your oil, you can you know erase the previous date and put in the new one. So there's always only one date there. It looks tidy, it looks neat, and it's always up to date. Another great idea would be for like an address book or something like that where information can change, people can move, and so you can erase their previous address and replace it with the new one and not have to waste space crossing stuff out. The next thing I think fiction pens are really good for, especially the highlighters, is for highlighting Bible pages. I find that friction highlighters are especially well suited for highlighting on in a Bible or on other delicate paper, maybe Tom, the Tomoe River paper or something like that, because instead of sinking into the page, the ink actually sits on top of the page, and so it's less likely to bleed through, and so it works really well on thin paper. And then the next really cool hack or tip for friction pens is using them for sewing projects. Friction pens are really great to use to mark up your uh, fabric, marking off different parts of the pattern, darts, or you know, cut lines and things like that. They're particularly well suited because they erase with heat. That's just how they work. And so if you then iron over your project once you're done or at whatever point in the sewing process, then it will erase the ink completely, leaving a clean piece of fabric and you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, and so it's a lot easier, I think, especially if you have it handy, uh, than using you know, the chalks or other kind of fiddly different marking uh, implements. So speaking of like erasing with an iron, the way that this ink works is it's uh, heat sensitive. So basically, if it gets up to a certain temperature, and I forget what that temperature is, it's not super hot, uh, but it is you know warmer than ambient, it will erase. And so it turns invisible, but it stays there. So it stays on the page, but it turns invisible. So for example, you use the um, eraser that's on the back here. It's just like a silicone, kind of a firm silicone, and it erased super cleanly, much better than like those erasable pens that we had back in like the 90s or whenever. Um, so because they erase in the heat, they are great for things, you know, these, these ideas that I've given you, but they're not ideal for important documents, things that might need to go through a copier machine uh, multiple times, it could erase it, and also just anything that you're putting your signature on, you want that to be lasting ink, so don't use this for that. Don't leave your planner or anything that you're writing it out in the car. I'm going to link in the corner um, a video where I did an experiment of what, it would, what would happen to your uh, planner or your pages if you left it in a hot car or out in the sun. It's really interesting, it's actually different for those two different cases, so watch that video after this one. But the tip uh, is if you do accidentally erase it, leave it in a hot car or maybe touch it with your iron or whatever happens, um, then you can bring the ink back. You can even bring it back in the pen by sticking the pen or the document or whatever you're doing, you need to get the ink back. Stick it in the freezer. It doesn't take that long, it just has to get back down to a certain temperature. Again, not sure what that number is. Um, but the freezer for just a few minutes to an hour should handle it, and then the color will come back. So even if you leave your pen out in the car on a hot day, you can stick it back in the freezer and it should come back. May, I can't guarantee it'll come back to 100%, um, but it will come back definitely well enough to use it again. So it's important to note that, like I mentioned with the highlighters, that this ink lays, lays on top of the page. So um, the one thing that I recommend not doing is using a pencil and a friction pen at the same time. 
a lot of people will like to say do a you know their layout and their planner and they'll write it all out in pencil to make sure everything fits and looks nice and then they'll go over it in pen and then erase the pencil marks afterwards but if you do that with a friction pen I'll show you what happens Here's a pencil eraser. Here's the friction eraser. You notice the friction comes right off, but the pencil will not. Even after I've erased the friction, the pencil line is stuck there. That's because of the way I said before, the ink lays on top of the paper and it doesn't erase or like go away. It just turns invisible. So now there's a layer of invisible ink on top of your pencil, preventing the eraser from erasing the pencil mark. So you definitely don't want to combine them if you want to ever plan on erasing either of them um, because those marks are going to stay there and there's nothing you can do about it. And speaking of erasers, there is one more bonus tip that's in a short video, which I will link in the corner. Um, I went through all of the different materials I could possibly think of and figured out what was the best material to use as an alternative to a friction eraser if for whatever reason you can't find yours. And that, I believe, is everything I've got to share with you today. There's all kinds of different pens that uh, I, I just really love them. I think they're super handy and there's a lot of really cool uses. I hope you agree. If you do, leave your comments below. Tell me what your favorite use of friction pens is, uh, planner or not. And don't forget to subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.